Hello, my name is Katrina, a nurse and ERAS coordinator working with Alberta Health Services. Over the next few minutes, I'll briefly discuss what you can do now to plan ahead for your surgery. Planning ahead can make your hospital stay more comfortable, your discharge easier, and your recovery faster. The first set of things you can do are all about getting your body healthier. Stop smoking if you can. For many people, having a surgery is a great motivation to quit smoking. This is because quitting will help avoid problems with your lungs after surgery. Additionally, the extra oxygen in your blood will help your surgical wounds heal faster. Cut down or stop drinking alcohol. Many people enjoy an occasional glass of wine, beer, or other liquor. However, too much alcohol is hard on your body, especially your liver. Getting exercise. Try to be in the best shape possible before your surgery. If you don't already exercise, start slowly. Even going for a short 10 to 15 minute walk is better than no exercise. After your surgery, in the hospital, we'll be asking you to walk at least three times per day. This will help your body recover. Eat healthy. Healthy foods help you be in the best shape possible before your surgery. Some diseases can cause a poor appetite or weight loss. Let your surgeon or nurse know if you have been eating less than usual or losing weight. Stop using street drugs. Recreational drugs, such as marijuana, can have serious side effects when mixed with the medicines used during and after surgery. It can also make pain control more difficult. So your surgeon, anesthesiologist, and nurses need to know if you use recreational drugs. For more information on these topics, speak to your doctor, a pharmacist, or call HealthLink. Tell your nurse or anesthesiologist if you take prescription pain medicine. Your pain medicine or dose may have to be changed after your surgery. Your body may be used to a certain level of pain medicine. So how much you need to deal with your pain may have to be adjusted after surgery. Once you are home from your hospital stay, you'll still need more rest and might need some help with a few things. Here are some suggestions that will make life a little bit easier. Book a ride home. Ask a responsible family member or friend to be ready to bring you home after your hospital stay, preferably by car. Plan for meals. Good nutrition is important for your recovery, but cooking may be a little bit harder right after you get home. So prepare and freeze some meals ahead of time or ask friends and family to help with cooking or grocery shopping. Get help with chores. After you get home, you may need a little bit of help with things like washing clothes or housekeeping. Plan ahead now to try and have some help with these sorts of chores. Now I'll discuss some things you should get ready the day before your surgery. The hospital will call you or you will be asked to call the hospital the day before surgery. In this phone call, you will be reminded about a few important details. One of these reminders is about what time your surgery is. Usually, you will need to be at the hospital two to three hours before surgery. Make sure you write down what time you need to be at the hospital and where to go once you get there. Follow the instructions in the eating and drinking before surgery handout. This handout gives you specific instructions about what to eat and drink and when you must stop eating and drinking. Make sure you follow these instructions closely. If you don't, your surgery could be cancelled. This is for your own safety to prevent food and fluid from going into your lungs. This is called aspiration and it's life threatening. So once again, follow the instructions on the eating and drinking before surgery handout very closely. Some of the details this handout discusses include how much fluids with carbohydrates or sugar you should drink to get your body ready for surgery. Also, reminders that you absolutely must stop eating at least eight hours before your surgery. The handout also reminds you not to drink any alcohol for 24 hours before your surgery. 
If you have any diabetes or kidney problems, make sure you have asked your healthcare provider if you should be doing anything different. If your surgeon wants you to do a bowel preparation, you need to stop eating food for longer period of time before your surgery. A nurse at your pre-admission clinic will tell you if you need a bowel preparation, and they'll also instruct you on how to do this. Many patients tend to bring too many belongings to the hospital. You don't actually need very much, so we ask you to pack light. The night before surgery list outlines what we recommend you to bring to the hospital. Try to bring these things in one small bag that has your name on it. Anything not on the list could always be brought later by friends or family. Things to remember include Alberta Health Care card, Blue Cross or other insurance card, photo ID, chewing gum, personal items like glasses, dentures, or hearing aids, hygiene items like toothbrush and toothpaste, a book or magazine to read, your medicines in their original containers. What should you not bring? Anything of value. The hospital cannot be responsible for any items that get lost, so please leave any valuables safe at home and don't bring any more than $20 cash. Now I'll list a few things you need to do the night before surgery. If you won't have time to take a shower or a bath in the morning, have one before you go to bed. Using soap, thoroughly wash yourself, including your belly button. Then wear clean pajamas to bed. Try not to use any makeup, creams, lotions, perfumes, or similar products. Ensure you don't shave the area your surgery will be. Doing so can increase your risk of infection. Remove all nail polish as well as all jewelry, including body piercings. Finally, some patients will need to give themselves an enema to empty their lower bowel. Pack staff or your surgeon will let you know if you need one. Please follow the instructions you're given with it. Once you reach the day of your surgery, there are several more important things to be prepared for. To start, if you take any medicines, Pack or your surgeon will let you know what medicines you should take on the morning of your surgery. Also remember, you must stop drinking as directed before surgery. The eating and drinking before surgery handout gives you more instructions about this. Some patients may need an enema done when they arrive to the hospital. A pack nurse or surgeon will let you know if you need one. I hope you found these suggestions and reminders helpful because planning ahead can make your surgery and recovery a better experience. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a very successful surgery.